Ron Paul. And I'm down here working on the smart wood shop. And I've been asked about these new shorts I've been wearing for the last week. These are from Atlas 46, the same folks that sent me this carpenter's vest that I did a video on earlier this week. These are their Concord shorts, heavy duty. They have these uh, leg patches on them and all of the pockets that a carpenter would need when you don't want to wear a nail bag or a vest or even an apron. This kind of gives you the ability to carry the tools you need. So I've, you know, I've, this pocket here in the front has worked out great for my, my pencil and I carry a couple of these in here. And then I just clip my tape measure, which is great for working in here because I'm constantly, you know, going to the table saw over there, checking measurements and I've left my tape over here on the bench. So that works out well. It's got a hammer holder on both sides and then uh, they've got some big cargo pockets and you can take the, the uh, you know, the, the, having the lip over, it keeps sawdust from getting in there, but I don't care so much. So I like to tuck them inside. And then behind the pocket sewn in, there's two pouches. So I found this to be good for my razor knife. And I've got four of those. I'm only using one so far. And then I'm using the big cargo pocket over here for a couple of tools that I'm needing a lot at the moment. Not that I carry these all the time there, but working out really well. But what's really nice is there's a pocket right here. And I use the iPhone 6 Plus, the big guy. And they've got a perfect pocket that it slides right in the front here. And it's easy to get out. I can poke it up from the bottom or I can grab it out of the top. So nice pocket. Again, these are just like their vest. And I imagine all of their products, it seems to me their mission is the professional tradesman, in my case, carpenter, where they're making uh, clothing and vests and aprons and all kinds of things that are specialized for our industry, but also designed to stand up on the wear and tear that when you're in the working world, being a carpenter or electrician, those kind of things, you're, you're getting down, down on your knees, you're having tools in your pocket, you just, there's just a lot more wear and tear than if you work in an office. So the stitching, the material, the weight, and these are incredibly comfortable. Um, they don't feel really stiff like I thought they might. They're, they're very uh, pliable material. I wear my street clothes to work. I wear my street clothes if I'm coming down here to work in the shop or if I'm going on to a job. And what I do is I keep, and this is a not since Atlas, this is the way I've been doing this for a long time. I um, keep those carpenter's pants. I'll keep a pair of those or two in a drawer in my trailer as well as my rain suit. And I also keep a couple of shirts because um, I don't, I don't want to... Uh, tear up my, um, or wear out my, my street clothes. With that in mind, seeing all of the different types of tools that Atlas has, meaning uh, belts and packs and uh, shorts, and they've got long pants too. I think I'm gonna get a, long, a pair of those. But they have a tool that I think is gonna work out really well for me. Sometimes I wanna run down to the shop and do a quick project and I, I don't bother changing them in my work clothes, I'll get busy doing something then. Before you know it, you know, I've, I've got my street clothes covered in sawdust or I've spilt something if I'm working with a, with a stain. They got a, quite a few different chest rigs, they call them, and aprons, but they have a, an apron that, uh, a carpenter's apron, that goes down to about knee length. When it shows up, you'll get to see me wear it in the shop and I'll tell you what I think about it. Again, I, I have had a carpenter's apron before and um, I wore it a few times, but it didn't really work out for me. It was, it was kind of thinner. It was, uh, it was a, a light canvas or, or cotton or something and it had a thin strap on the neck and it, it just wasn't, if I put anything in the pockets, it wasn't very comfortable. So I ended up uh, just getting rid of that. If you're following along with the build of the Smart Wood Shop and you'd like to get yourself a set of plans for the awesome rolling toolbox, my previous trailer, you can click on the link right here in the video. Also available are plans for my various workbenches.
Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.